Hey everyone, I'm going to explore something really fun with you and that's how you can make icons right in Canvas. This is a brand new feature that they just rolled out where you can make icons right in the rich content editor on any Canvas page that has the rich content editor. Here's some examples of icons that I made this morning. I'm going to show you how I made those as well as a few tips and tricks that I've discovered along the way. So before we jump in, let's look at how you would set this up. Now as a Canvas admin, you're going to have to go into your account settings and then in the feature options tab, you can you can scroll down to the RCE icon maker. That's that's the rich content editor icon maker and you just have to enable that. And that's the only step that you have to take. Once you've enabled that, then all of the courses are going to have that right in the rich content editors. So let's hop back to this page and see how I created these icons. I'm going to go into edit. I have this group of icons. I'm just going to put some spaces there and so that I can have the cursor at the top of the page. And you'll notice this new button right here in the rich content editor with all those shapes. If you click on that, then it will allow you to create an icon from scratch. Now, before I get into that, you'll notice there's a drop down. You can open up the create icon maker platform or you can go to saved icons. So if I click on saved icons, I can see various icons that I've already created for this course. And then you can click on that and drag it onto your page. So you don't have to recreate the same icon for multiple pages. And likewise, if I were to go to this page and send it to somebody or copy it into another course, it'll copy that icon into that course. So in reality, as I'm thinking about it, you could make an entire library full of your icons in one course, put them all on a page. And then if you want to copy those icons into another course, just push that page, copy that page over into the other course. And then you'd have your whole library with you wherever you go. So I'm going to go back to this edit page. Right now we're just going to create an icon from scratch. And so you want to call it something. So perhaps I want to call this syllabus. You can put alt text, which I would recommend. That way the screen readers will be able to interpret the icon. You can also leave it as decorative text if you want. And now we have various shapes. So you can have your icon be a square, a circle, triangle, diamond, octagon, star. I'm just trying to take a crystal ball and see into the future. I think that the most common shapes will be square and circle. Octagon would be fun if it's a stop sign or something, but I'm just going to stick with square for right now. And I'm going to make this a large icon. You can make it small, extra small, medium if you want. I'm just going to make it large. So then there's icon colors and they'll give you 19 colors to choose from. These are very accessible colors. Generally speaking, those would be the accessible ones, but you can also create your own color scheme as well. Right now, let's start out with this icon. I'm just going to choose some of these from the list here. Maybe I'll go with pink for the icon color and then the icon outline. You could have no outline or you could choose something from this list right here. So I have kind of a purple. How big do you want the outline size to be? I'm going to put it large like that. And then I have the text. So the text is different than the name that you called it. This is for categorization purposes. So it's going to be a file called syllabus. I think SVG, but that's not related to the text that you have on the icon. And you could have no text if you want to, but I'm going to go ahead and put syllabus. And then you can say, what text size do you want? Do you want it to be large, extra large, medium, small? I'm going to go ahead and say it's extra large. For the text color, I'm going to put it the same color as the outline. I'm not going to put a background color, but you know, that would put it something like highlighting it. And I'm just going to say none for that. And then the position, so you have middle, which is right here. Now, if it's too many words, if it's a lot of words, then it's going to start in the middle and it's going to go down. And so I recommend actually go below the icon, but you can also go bottom third, which doesn't super make sense. Maybe if you didn't have a border, um, but I'm just going to go below and then you can put an image within that box. And so I don't have an image selected, but I can add a single color image or a multicolor image. So if I wanted this multicolor image, then I have the gears right there. If I wanted that same image, but single color, then I can choose the gears and I can choose what color those gears are. So I'll probably put those gears, maybe the same color as the border. And then I can click apply and I'll have my new icon on the page. If I need to edit it, then I just click on it. I go to edit and then I can make those changes. Now, one thing I might want to change is the color scheme here. You're not limited to these few colors that they choose. And also before I go on, I want to make the point that just because you choose from the options here doesn't mean it's necessarily going to be accessible. For example, if you choose this purple color as the icon color, 
and then you choose this deeper purple as the text color, then there's not going to be much contrast. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for a different color scheme using my own colors. And I'm just going to go to coolers.co. I'm going to start a generator and just hit spacebar a couple times until you see something that is interesting. And maybe this would be cool. Maybe I want to go with blues. And so the background color, I'm going to click a very light shade. And then I'll go ahead and copy this uh, value right here, the hex value. And then what I'll do is instead of going the drop down and choosing one of those selected, I'm just going to paste in my own color. And then for the accent color, I think I really like this one here, this queen blue. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that and I'll change the outline to that color. And then I'll also change the text color. And finally the um, engineering icon, I'm going to have to reselect the engineering icon and then I can paste that in there. So I'll go ahead and save that. And now you can see the changes there. And one last thing, I just made all those changes. If I go to edit, if I were to make a change, I can choose to apply the changes to all the instances of this icon maker icon in the course. And so if I wanted to create a color scheme for every course, maybe I wanted every icon to be exactly the same. You can see on this page, I staggered it up a little bit. And so everything's a little bit different. In reality, I did that so that I could show you some various color options, but I would probably make the icons maybe the same color or maybe within a family of each other, but especially the words at the bottom here where it says getting started, modules, reading, news. I would probably select a standard color for all of those. Otherwise, if you're using various icons with this text on the page, then they all kind of look different, but I'd want that at least to be standardized. And I would probably choose a family that's a little bit more closely related, like take one of these blues and just create variations of the blue or variations of a pink and then standardize the text part. Maybe it's black on white or maybe it's some kind of dark color. So just because I showed you a whole bunch of very large squares, um, let's create another icon since I have you with me and we're going to do something different. So I'm going to name this one readings. I already have an icon called reading, but this will be plural, readings, plural. I'm again gonna skip the alt text, but you'll probably want to put that. This time let's do a circle and let's do a small icon. I'm gonna go back up here and choose a different color scheme. And yeah, maybe something like this, we'll pick something really light for the icon color. And then we'll go ahead and darken it up a little bit for the accent color. Yeah, maybe something like that. We'll see how that looks. And then we'll just have a modest outline size, so a, a small size. I'll put readings. And the text, I'm going to also put that dark color. I might actually have to darken up the text a little bit. Let's try this. There's um, Eton Blue. I'm going to get something nice and dark for that text. All right, so that pops a little bit more. Maybe I would go medium. And I'm going to keep that right in the middle there. And I could put an icon behind it maybe, maybe this colored icon, but then you can't really see the words. And so I would say if you're going to have words in there, just don't have any icons. Alternately, I could choose, uh, I still don't understand how bottom third would apply, but I can have it below and that would allow me to have another icon. I do want to make sure that the colors are consistent and that's where the single color image might actually play a good part. So if I put some books there and then I choose the color. All right, so there's the readings, but again, I'm probably gonna not have the color there and I'm just going to put the text right in the middle. And that's where uh, it can be, get a little bit complicated because if I were to say, maybe it's readings and assignments, then it starts going outside of there. And I noticed, I think this might be a glitch. I don't know if it's a feature, but if you put two spaces in between words, then I notice that it does a break. However, if it does need to break, it still starts at the middle and then it works its way down. And so that icon doesn't actually look that great. And so you probably want to keep them, if you're going to use text, keep it really short, like one word and even a very short word. Like this is readings. If I were to do a longer word like communications, then you can see that the letters are starting to go outside of the outside or edge and I do have 32 characters to work with but if you get close to that if I say you know communications and emails then it starts having a hard time and so I would keep it just you know really short if you're gonna have the words within there 
And another thing, so let me save that to the page. Another thing I noticed is that like if I were to edit this, maybe getting started, if I were to say getting started and beginning and begins, I don't, that doesn't really make sense or anything, but I'm going to go ahead and save that. Then you'll notice that kind of skews the rest of them. So you'll notice that it has to have two lines instead of one line for the text. So it scoots everything up and now everything's not really in order at this point. And so you just want to be mindful of that. I think my tips here is the icons are better if the words are below the icon and you keep it really simple. Kind of like take a hint from the left hand navigation here. You have home, announcements, modules, assignments, discussions, pages. Try and keep it really succinct so that it doesn't need that second line. And that way everything can look clean and all on one page. Now let's come down the page a little bit. I'm going to put my cursor here and then with this drop down you can see that there's a saved icons menu as well. And so I can see all of these icons that I've created for my course and if I wanted to reuse one then it's as simple as I just click on that and then it'll drop it onto the page. If I hop into my course files then you can see a folder for image maker icons and then I can see all these icons that I've created for my class here. I could go in and clean that up as well. You know, if I created several different copies until I finally came with one that I liked, then I could get rid of the other versions if I wanted to. Now, just giving you my honest review, I think that this new addition to Canvas is fantastic for people who don't have experience with graphic design and who would like to have a standard iconology set that they can showcase in their courses and maybe use for navigation or just for categorizing the content in your courses. It's plug and play. You don't have to have any third party vendor. You don't have to have graphic design experience. You can just make them all within Canvas. However, there are a lot of good options out there. Probably the best two are the nounproject.com where you can search for millions of icons and you can customize them. You can change the size and the colors and then you can download them. It's free and so you can use those in your class. It, does, it is a third party program and it does take a little bit of work, but you can design very customized and unique and beautiful icon sets for your classes. Flat Icon is another one. You have millions of assets and you have a lot of freedom to customize the colors and the look and feel. And there are other more paid platforms like Visme or Canva where you can create icons as well. But again, that takes a little bit of expertise. And so this is a good plug and play natively integrated function into Canvas now. And so you don't have to think about it very much, but the amount of customization is extremely limited right now. I feel like this is kind of a beta feature. It's fully rolled out, so you don't have to worry about it being buggy or anything, but just you're not going to be able to customize to the extent that maybe you would like. But if you don't have any icons in your course right now, then use these. This is a great first step. And I look forward to the future iterations. I think that the Instructure developers are going to do a great job making a very robust icon maker for us. And so check back in a couple of years and this might be one of the best platforms on the market. We'll see. So if you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe on my channel here. If you love the video, then smash the like button. And I hope this is useful for you, especially as right now as I'm producing this video, we're wrapping up the school year and maybe going to start thinking about next year and the course development and what that's going to entail. And so definitely check out these icons, the icon maker through Canvas. And until next time. Happy Digi Nanonin!